This is Wes from Harlan Outdoor School coming at back at you on day two of us getting back to work. And as you can see, we are down at the stream. I know yesterday you got to see an awesome video with Kendrick. He was down at the stream uh, showing you a lot about the Eco Extreme class in Alum Creek. This is also part of Alum Creek and where that water flows to, the importance of uh, the health of that water. Today I want to talk about the ecosystem and the other side of the living things that Kendrick talked about and that is the non-living things that you find in an ecosystem. Because the living things that you find and the non-living things are interacting in a community together. So what are some non-living things you might ask that you would find when you're outside down at the stream? Well, the air around us that you can see uh, flowing through my hair right now. Does anybody see that? No? Okay. You got to go out and experience that, that airflow. You also have the mineral soil. If you were to dig up some of this shale um, bed of the stream, you find some mineral soil down there. That is a non-living thing. Also, you have the, um, the rocks, and we have a lot of rocks down here. And these rocks provide something for the living things that we find in this ecosystem. If you were to lift up these rocks, uh, you would find some different animals that might be living and hiding under these rocks, uh, attached to the rocks, eating some of the algae and the moss on these rocks. So that's one thing that the rocks provide uh, for the living things. And I know when we teach this class, the kids come down, they're so excited to get into the water and we talk about the water, the importance of the, the quality of the water. We have our nets, we show them how to catch some of these living things that live in the water. And the one thing that the kids want to do when they first get in, you guessed it, they want to skip rocks. So. We can't let them skip rocks though when they're in class because that's uh, there's so many people around. But if you are down at the stream and you get outside today, it's a beautiful day, and you find yourself down here at the stream and you find some rocks, which you will, you can skip those rocks. So you want to find some nice thin rocks. Those are the best rocks to skip. Get a nice stance and then you can fling it like that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get outside today.